not the magic negro. I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Middle mega. Well, I hope you brought your extinguisher because this topic is a dumpster fire. Moving along, I present to you the American Society Magic Negro. I'm trying not to laugh, man. Let me bring it back. Take two. Take two. How is this a thing? <laughs> Magic Negro. I'm melting down, man. Seriously, how? I can't do this anymore. I feel like that before Common, I used to love her, that sample. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. On the regular. I present to you the American... I still can't do it without laughing, man. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Why could I not say this without laughing? This is a rough one. I'm not going to lie. My goodness. It's a lack of professionalism. I'm going to try it one more time. I'm being dead serious. I can't do this without laughing. I think, it, you know what? Sometimes you try to hold it in, just get the laugh out, and then you can go ahead and do it. But no, I really want to do this without laughing. I want to do this straight. Unlike the Senate. <laughs> oh, man. They'd be wild, man. These politicians, man. These, these politicians are wild. We are absolutely getting dumber as a species. I present to you the American Society of Magical Negroes. I, I present to you the American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people was the most painful thing I've ever seen. Excuse me. Sorry. I don't want to take you to a job interview. There's a recruiting class starting right now, and we got to get you in. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> I don't really understand. It's easier to show you. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Sure. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. Because the happier they are, the safer we are. The name needs a little updating, maybe like magical black people, or I guess that doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> You ready? Oh, wow. Your first client is a Jason Munn. His morale is far too low. Hey. Hey. Darn it. I was hoping there was a station right next to him. Oh, is this one spoken for? No. Nope. Yeah, it's actually fun and weirdly relaxing. It's like being a secret agent with none of the danger. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. She's great. Yeah, she's cool. You kidding? Come on, man. She's smart and funny. And I know what you were doing going on about her. You're trying to set what us up. No, no, no. That's not what I was doing. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now. Because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. I've always felt like it's my job to make white people feel comfortable. And here it literally is. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm gonna need your help. Do you think you can like work your magic? Hey, is he talking about me? Hey. Oh my god. Wait, are you? When I travel a long way. Someone defied the society. Who was it? You didn't let her go like I told you. If you interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. Even though we might never see each other again, I need you to know that what we had was real. I'm curious to see how you're going to make it out of all this. <laughs> what stage of the... What stage of the book? What, what chapter in the book of our country are we in right now? <laughs> Dr. Lucid said the Negro Harry Potter. They got the... They doing nigga versions of Harry Potter, but... The superpower is to help white people? I don't know what this is about, man. I don't want to take it too seriously. We're childish, though, that's for sure. We're doing movies about civil war while our country is in the biggest tension it's ever been since the civil war, and we're doing movies about it. That'd be like like having a, you know, a close person to you suffering from something, and then you're like, well, let's do a movie about it. What? Th that's child that's immature. 
And then this is childish. I mean, it could be funny. I said it could be funny, but there's there's a couple bald-headed black women in here. If there's no jokes for them, it's not funny. I don't care. I don't care if you're trans. I don't care if you're drag. I don't care if you're a bald-headed black woman. We can't have a funny show or movie unless we all laugh at each other. And how much you want to bet there's not going to be one one joke about the the bald headed black women in this? It, it has potential. It looks weird, you know. I don't know about this part. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I I should change the name of the channel to like Watch Out White People. Uh, this I don't know if this is like ha ha funny or what, but this scene is kind of worrisome, right? Caesar said. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Shark. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. I think Mike has bad knees is just, you know, solid takes all the time. Thank you for the $2 super chat and member of the channel. Mike has bad knees says, this is very intentional to trigger conservatives. I think he is absolutely, I need a bell for like, we have a winner. You are absolutely right. Let me see if I have a drop that's like, we have a winner. Father is to it. A winner. All my drops are negative. Let's just do Spidey Sense. Spider Sense start tingling. Mike has bad knees. Says Spidey Sense start tingling. It's purposely designed just like it's the Dylan Mulvaney effect. Dylan Mulvaney blew up in part because of channels like myself. I didn't do that much on Dylan, but I did. I'm part of it. Uh, and it's not like I have huge reach, but I'm not going to, you know, um, absolve myself from it. And I don't care. I, I I respect Dylan Mulvaney. I think Dylan Mulvaney is one of the greatest social media users of all time. Now, this has kind of been artificially propped up with the algorithm, but forget about that. The strategy and the short videos, Dylan Mulvaney is one of the best social media people out there. And part of Dylan Mulvaney's rise is I'm a biological man. And I pretty much look like a biological man, but I kind of put on some makeup or whatever, and I go prancing on in the woods, and all those right-wingers laugh at me. They prop up my videos. So they sit in the room, and they strategize with this movie, and it's like, well, how does something blow up? If we make it woke, we got to make it woke in a manner that's going to make myth-informed MK, MKE, Jack Posevac, everybody else, myself, post it and then try to you know make fun of it or ask what's happening, and then it actually blows up to millions of views. I think the same thing with the Civil War movie. We're getting triggered. Our, our, our actions are predictable. So they say, hey, I mean, it's hard. How do you ignore it when they basically say white people are animals in the trailer? <laughs> What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Shark. White people, when they feel uncomfortable. White people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. That's why we fight white discomfort every day. So then they try to play it like it's a good thing. We're superheroes. That's what I, my interpretation is. We fight white fragility, basically. It's basically you know, piggybacking off of the Dorrance dance group. That's what they had on their website. We read it yesterday, last night. White fragil fr fragility is basically you're nervous around black people. I don't know, you know, that's critical race theory to the 10th degree, but I guess their superpower is to make them comfortable. So you can kind of say, I don't even know what to think of that. It's so disrespectful in the front end and then now you try to make it, I guess, try to make it something positive in the back end. I don't know. And it's funny. They choose a, a light-skinned dude. I mean, he's clearly not. He's got some white somewhere in him. That's I don't know where it is, the white is, but there's white in him somewhere. This dude looked lighter than Steph Curry. I don't know what's going on. And then now he's he's kind of fighting a white dude over a white woman. And then you have a bald-headed. This thing is a mess, yo. This thing is a mess. It it It's a car wreck that I... Sorry, I will be not in the movie theater. I'm, I, I can't pay y'all for this. So allegedly, I'll find another way to b watch it where money might or might not go into the pockets of the studio. Let's just, just say that. But it's a mess. I don't, know what's I don't know what's happening. It's more of a mess than the Civil War movie. Now, Obama, you know, he followed this, and he had to go out there and prove that he can speak this way, too. But the question that always surrounds Obama, even when he goes out and tries to imitate Mrs. Clinton's dialect, is, is he down for the struggle? There's something humming down here. 
Oh, that's somebody's Blackberry. That's Sharpton's Blackberry. Is that Hillary calling? Now, keep in mind, this is the day where BlackBerry service had blacked out. <laughs> was, I don't know. Friday was a bad day for BlackBerry on Thursdays and Friday. Uh, uh, I never lost mine. Well, I lost mine on Saturday a little bit, the receivability. But nevertheless, there's the um, uh, there's the, the black dialect for the uh, urban national network or so forth. Let's go back to March 5th again. This is Selma, Alabama, and this is Obama. Barack, the magic Negro. In D.C., the L.A. Times, they called him that cause he's not authentic like me. Middle MAGA.